Welcome to Making Marriage Wunderbar. Let's start with the basic anatomy. This may be a little graphic for the prudish or the younger viewer, but I think it is important for us to know the differences between the man and the woman. Here we see the man and the woman. Okay, so now you are over the shock of seeing this very graphic nature of these forms. In particular, I want to focus on the male brain. As you can see in this picture, the brain is made up of a lot of boxes. You can see that these boxes may only have one thing in the box at a time. And if you have too many of the boxes open all at one time, it may cause system overload and the system will have to shut down for sometimes 24 hours. But usually about the same time it takes to watch a basketball game, an hour in the shed, or maybe play some Call of Duty. Ladies, if your husband is saying that he must attend to Call of Duty, this is not doing the dishes or the chores. It is not duties. Ladies, he is playing on video games. It's of importance to know there is a one box which can be open while other boxes are open. In fact, it is often open while other boxes are open. It is open many times during the day, at night. Yeah. And I think you may know which box I am talking about. Ah, some of you thought I was going to say the sex box, but we would never say that word at church, yeah? That actually, yeah, that is a very important box. Perhaps we will call it the wink, wink box so that I don't have to say that word again, yeah? So when we're talking about the sex, we are talking about the wink wink box please know that you will may find it goes so much smoother with a wink wink box if you open other boxes in sequence before this box like the four play box and before that box probably the communication box and even before that box the household duties box Again, this is not the call of duty box. That box may need to be closed for you to get some time in the wink wink box. Okay, so that was not awkward at all. The next picture will take some concentration. As opposed to the simple structure of the male brain, the female brain is more complicated. The female brain looks a lot like the circuit board to a computer with a lot of extra wires. A lot of extra wires. Some people also describe it like a ball of wool. A ball of wool. What is that? Ah, a ball of yarn. I like the computer analogy because it gives men hope of having some chance of a successful interaction with this complex network. If you consistently get the right algorithm and sequence, you will be fine for many interactions. Like the male wink wink box, the female wink wink connections also are on many times during the day or the night, and it can be on while other systems are. But it will need the correct order of events and algorithm to occur. Also, the algorithms that you used 10 years ago probably not going to work the same. You will have to open the communication box to find out how the woman feels today and what she needs today. She has a lot on her mind. She is simultaneously computing who is in the room, who has the birthday coming up, how much food she has to make sure one child consumes so as not to have a meltdown, how many things are on her work projects at the moment that require her attention, and also you and what your needs are. A lot is happening that has to do with others. This is why she is such a great help for the man. It says in the Bible that God created man and he looked at the man and he said, oh, this is good. Yeah, yeah, we have made a wonderful man. 
And then after a little while, he looked at the man and he said, I don't think this guy is going to make it on his own. So God makes a woman, finds a man. God knew that the man would need a woman with all the connected wires to help connect the boxes, help stop the man from doing the silly things. <laughs> so although the Garden of Eden didn't turn out so great. So ooh, that's... Is for another episode of Making the Marriage Wunderbar with Dr. Anna Mueller Schmidt. Marriage is good, yeah? Yeah, you know it is. Wink, wink. <laughs>